All right, good morning, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Michael, and today I'm going to be explaining my story of how I got started in entrepreneurship and how I got to where I am today uh, on this journey because I heard something that you know the person who tells their story the most is the person that wins. So I better start telling it. Um, so growing up, you know, I had a great childhood. I had a ton of great childhood friends, and there's really nothing that would change about it. Um, the only thing was, you know, I noticed in high school, like both both my parents, they had great middle class jobs. They were working at like BlackRock and Bank of America, and they were making like decent enough money, right? All the uh, bills were paid. We had a great house, etc. But I used to just watch them work at this corporate America job right, that, that I think schools really uh, impose on us. And it was like, they're basically just paid, but they're, they're always stressed out all the time and they aren't really enjoying their lives. And so at a really young age, I realized, damn, like I do not uh, wanna be like them and I don't wanna go that same route. So I had to start thinking like really young, like, okay, Mike, you better start thinking about getting rich because like I can't do this this nine to five life for like until I'm 40 and I just knew it. So I had no business experience or what whatnot. Uh, the only show or the only uh, type of business that I know was from the show Shark Tank, right? I was a huge fan of that show uh, in high school and I was like, okay, right? If I'm gonna get rich, I'm gonna go to college, I'm gonna become an engineer, I'm gonna invent something and I'm just gonna somehow get on that show Shark Tank and you know partner up with one of the sharks start a business and just get rich right that was my plan and it actually you know wasn't that bad of a plan um you know obviously it didn't end up like that but that was uh the reason why i did the engineering and all that so uh, i went to penn state and my freshman year at penn state i actually got i found this flyer in a uh, chemistry class and it was from this company called Young Entrepreneurs Across America. And it was like a flyer. It said something like, hey, do you want to start your own business? Like, you know, reach out to this number. And I was like, boom, like, you know, let's do it. Let's start our first business. Like, I'm only 18 at the time. And I was really hype about it. So, you know, I went through this whole program and it completely changed my mindset about everything. Right. I learned how uh, essential sales is in business and, you uh, you know, a little backstory about the business. It was basically like a painting company called Student Painters. And I literally built this business from the ground up. I would go home uh, from Penn State every other weekend and just start knocking on doors, passing out flyers, uh, reaching out on Facebook and just, you know, building some leads so that uh, I can end up painting these houses, right? So, you know, absolutely love that program. Um, and, and you know, just the shift in my mindset from there. And, you uh, you know, I actually did have a lot of failures when it when it came to, you know, starting that first business. And, you know, at the time, it seemed like the end of the world to me. But looking back, like, I'm so grateful for them, because it helped me, you know, get to the next step so much faster, right? Like getting started at a young age is, is so crucial, because, you know, that's the biggest thing that that people just don't do, they just don't get started on their dreams. And there's been so many things that I've tried that haven't worked out in terms of like the business world. But you know, at the end of the day, like maybe I bruised my ego a bit and maybe I made a fool of myself, but I didn't go into like serious financial debt from it. And I'm still young right now, I'm only 23 years old. And I was able to to have those learning experiences earlier when like it really doesn't matter compared to later in life. So I'm super grateful for all that. Um, I remember, so after, I had like some temporary defeat, let's say in, in the business world, right? I went back to school uh, the next semester. I think I was a sophomore in college and I came across the book, uh, Think and Grow Rich. And I remember reading this book and it was it was really magnificent, right? It, it changed a lot, but I didn't truly understand the book the first time reading it. So, you know, I kept that book with me uh, throughout school and just kept reading it and kept reading it. And you know, it really changed the game for me. Um, I won't dive too much into the, the book itself. I'll actually probably end up doing a training on it because like I'm telling you guys, Think and Grow Rich, this is such a fascinating book, but I got to get back to the story. 
So, you know, I've been always just, uh, you know, ever since I went through that, I've been networking online, trying to find ways to, to earn some income uh, while in school because I was doing like this engineering. So I, I didn't have the ability to work a job, you know, during the school year. So every time it was like summertime or spring break, I was always hustling uh, just to find a way to make money during those periods so that when school time came around, I didn't have to, you know, worry about making money then. Okay, so I was just continuing down the path of knocking on doors, um, getting in front of people. I think I was like a canvasser at the time, but I was able to make like really good money. I was like making 800 bucks over spring break and and that really helped out just to pay the bills and, you know, not be like a broke college student uh, during those years. And then I, I did some internships, like selling life insurance, which was a really pain in the ass because, you know, no one truly wants to buy life insurance. And so, you know, learn learned from that. And then I graduated college. I ended up finishing with the engineering degree uh, just because like, you know, I started it and I was like, damn, I, I better just finish it now because I know for a fact if I don't finish school now, I'm never going to come back to it. So I got the degree in four years and, you know, that was a challenge of itself. And I, I still can't uh, believe to this day I got over that. And but I always knew like, OK, like, you know, engineers don't truly get rich. Right. They they uh, may make good money. They may make over six figures a year, but we all know that's not, you know, rich. And and there's still like an employee mindset. So I knew I had to stay in the sales world. Um, I got a job after college, just cold calling. I was making like 50 dials a day at this tech company. And, you know, that that's where it's like, OK, you know, still building up those sales skills because I know how important that is. But then again, you know, one thing I found out is that sales isn't everything when it comes to to making money. Like, yes, it's so critical in business, but there's also the marketing aspect. And so you really got to start thinking deeper. So on the side, you know, I was like, okay, I got to start figuring out how to make money online. And uh, the first time that I made money online, I think I uh, started out with Etsy because it was like such a low cost to get started. Like it's actually free to get started with Etsy. And I think it's like 20 cents for every item that you list. So it's like, okay, whatever, like that's chump change. And I was able to, you know, start getting my first sale by just posting like a digital file on Etsy. And it was, it was crazy because it was only like a sale. I think it was actually for like $4 and 85 cents, but that was like my first experience making money online. Now I realized, holy shit, this is possible, right? I can act like, like, you know, you hear about all these people making money on the internet and you're like, okay, maybe, maybe they're making money online, but you know, I could never do that. And then it's like, once you get that first sale, even if it's, even if it's a couple bucks, it's like, damn, like this is possible. And it, and it changes the paradigm about it. So, you know, I made some money on Etsy. I think I made up to like 133 bucks and it wasn't like life changing money, but it definitely made me realize like this is possible. All right. So I went from there. I got started in Shopify, you know, like the next logical step. Um, and Shopify was great and all. I didn't love the marketing aspect of it. I thought it was a little complicated uh, running the Facebook ads and and really, you know, you have to like present yourself like you are an authentic brand selling these products from China. And, you know, Shopify is great. I know a lot of people that made money with Shopify. I just didn't like the marketing aspect of it, right? And so, you know, I was getting really fed up with my job at the time. And I remember just coming across an Instagram ad that you can start selling name brand products on Amazon and start making money that way. And I'm thinking that just makes sense, right? If I'm selling Nike right? A product or a brand that people already know, and I'm selling it on Amazon, which is a platform that, you know, 51% of the US population already have an Amazon Prime account, right? That just made sense to me. So, you know, I gave that a shot, invested money in an LLC. Uh, that was really it. And then just like the uh, professional account for Amazon. And it was like on my way to get started. And so, I remember like, you know, even even though I've made some money online, it was still like, okay, does this really work? And so 
I bought uh like a couple of these vitamin packs from Walmart and it was, it was crazy because it was like eight dollars from Walmart and it was selling for twenty two dollars on Amazon and so I bought twelve I did like a little test order and then it was like they start selling right I, I get my first sale and like that's all I needed to know to be like okay I'm ready to to go all in on this so yeah the first order starts selling and then I bought this uh this like garden like this plant food and then next thing you know that I sell out with like within like two weeks I sell out I'm like damn it's like it's serious so you know ever since then like I started buying more products just gaining the confidence gaining the skills um I did enroll in a course to to help me out because I was like you know I'm I'm done with my job like I already quit my job at this point and I better figure out how to how to make this happen now or else I'm gonna have to go back to the nine to five right and so you know that's what brought me here today, right? I'm not, you know, at the point where I'm so financially set with it, but I know that I'm going to be, right? Because I, I, I've seen it, I've seen it uh, with a lot of people that I've been network with, networking with that they already got there. So, you know, it's only a matter of time till I start like really honing in on these skills and, uh, and getting it down. So, you know, that's my story. That's how I got to where I am today. And, you know, right now I'm, I'm just focused on Amazon I'm going to figure this thing out, build a business from it. And then my mindset is, okay, you know, once you learn how to build a successful business, right, then we can start worrying about investing in all this, right? But that's, that's down the road with the next chapter right now. Um, you know, it's, it's all about this business right now. And uh, I'm focused on uh, sharing the story uh, with you guys so that you can see, you know, exactly how I started and, and how I grown over, over the months, because it's going to end up being quick, but it's, it, it, it's like I got to document it all to show you that this is real. And my goal is to, you know, not only make money um, on Amazon, but but to really help people like get started because, you know, like everyone's looking for a side hustle and it's like, finally, I found one that actually does make sense. So uh, thank you all uh, for watching and listening to that. I'm going to be on uh, live on Monday. Okay, so I'm taking the weekend off. And uh, you'll catch me every day at 10.30 a.m. So I'll catch you all. Peace.